Being able to see things clearly is one of the key senses of human existence. However, our vision can often be impaired by various factors. Let's have a look at the basics of vision and its most common faults. Light enters our eyes from three main distances, close up, intermediate and far. To see clearly at all of them, a healthy eye requires the following attributes. Ideal eyeball length, a correct curvature of the cornea and the elastic ability of the crystalline lens. Their interplay enables light to be accurately focused onto the retina's most sensitive point, the macula. From here, information is channeled and processed by the brain to create the picture we perceive. These physiological components constitute our visual system. Due to a combination of genetic and environmental factors, the eyeball can grow to various lengths. When it grows too long, light is focused in front of the retina. This condition is called myopia, more commonly known as nearsightedness. It allows one to see nearby objects, but causes blurry vision for objects far away. An estimated 25% of the world's population can be diagnosed as myopic. On the other hand, if the eyeball grows too short, the focal point is located behind the retina. With hyperopia, or more commonly known as farsightedness, one sees faraway objects clearly, but nearby objects are blurred. This also affects roughly every fourth person in the world. Blurry vision can also be caused by astigmatism. This is mostly owed to an irregularly shaped cornea, which causes the incoming light to distort. Astigmatism affects the quality of vision at all distances and an estimated 30% of the world's population is affected by it. Thankfully, these conditions can be corrected by wearing spectacles, contact lenses, or in some cases by undergoing laser treatment. Incoming light from faraway objects enters the eye in a parallel pattern. Here, the pupil is wide open and the lens is in a relaxed state. Light from close and intermediate objects, however, enters the eye in a converging pattern. Therefore, the lens needs to increase its curvature to focus light on the macula. Lens accommodation worsens with age as the lens itself becomes more rigid and less flexible, causing increased difficulties in focusing on nearby objects. This condition is called presbyopia and is developed by most people between the age of 40 to 50. Cataract is the most common cause of vision loss in the world. Metabolic changes in the crystalline lens lead to a gradual clouding, worsening as the condition develops. This eventually results in blurry or double vision, faded colors, and trouble seeing at night. The only available treatment to combat this condition is the insertion of an intraocular lens, otherwise known as IOL. With an overall length of 13 millimeters, this tiny implant is made from biocompatible material designed to replace the natural lens. It consists of an optic in the middle and haptics on each side to ensure stability. Once the cloudy natural lens is removed from the capsular bag during surgery, the IOL is then injected through a tiny opening and placed into the exact position of the natural lens. On average, this surgery takes around 20 to 30 minutes and an estimated 30 million procedures are performed each year. The majority of implanted IOLs have monofocal optics. These enable sharp vision at one distance only, usually the far. Patients with monofocal lenses have to wear spectacles to perform certain tasks at near and intermediate distances, such as reading or checking their phones. Recent advances in manufacturing and measurement technology have given rise to a new generation of IOLs. With a unique concentric pattern at the middle of the optic, these so-called trifocal lenses are designed to enable sharp vision at near, intermediate and far distances, 
therefore providing more spectacle independence. Trifocal IOLs have the ability to correct the conditions of near or far-sightedness, astigmatism and cataract, all at the same time.